Welcome back. In the last episode, we conquered Lord Aron and the surrounding areas after defeating Sylvanas Windrunner at the Battle of Andorhal. Emboldened by our actions against the undead, Lord Garethos, Archmage and Sirem of Dalaran, and the Council of Hillsbrad have decided to join our cause and pledge their allegiances to the Crusade. With the additional manpower and resources we have received from our allies, we can set sail to the Northrend to destroy the Lich King and put an end to the undead threat once and for all. He lost grip on the Eastern Kingdoms after suffering a defeat due to his most trusted servants being slain by our forces. To invade Icecrown, first, we need a base near the Lich King's realm. The Drakari trolls to the north have captured Winterguard Keep. It was a main alliance base in Dragonblight, serving as the headquarters for the Seventh Legion. If we take back the keep from the Frost Trolls, we can rally the remaining human forces in the area to our cause. Luckily for us, the Drakari Trolls are fighting a war against the Lich King. So, it is a perfect time to strike to take the Winterguard Keep and the surrounding areas. For the last ten years, I have been preparing for an expedition to the Northrend. I have built professional barracks, stables, practice ranges, and airfields for my troops to train them for such an invasion. My marshal, Lord Sidan Dathrohan, has been training our knights to command our troops. Now, the time has come for us to set foot on the Northrend to finalize our Grand Crusade. Let's declare war on Drakari trolls to take the Winterguard. I also aim to take the ever-important Drakthar'n Keep. The Scarlet Monastery will be our rallying point for all of my champions. Let's ask Lord Sidan Dathrahan to give a final speech for our younger knights before we depart. The Drakari Trolls will surely ask for help from their brethren in the Eastern Kingdoms. The Amani Trolls will invade Eastern Lordaeron to distract our troops. No matter though, I can afford to split my army into two and send Lord Tyrion Fordring to Stratholme to safeguard the city from Amani raids. Let's give him the command of our knights and paladins along with levies from Eastern Lordaeron to defend their home. Our paladins can inspire and heal our troops to keep them on the battlefield against the onslaught of forest trolls. While Lord Tyrion is defending the Eastern Lordaeron, I will venture into the Drakari lands to conquer Winterguard. Let's make landfall in Evergreen. From there we can march north to face frost trolls on the battlefield. We have made landfall in Evergreen. I will quickly order my troops to take the country so we can start bringing our supplies from the mainland. Meanwhile, our scouts reported that the High Mountain Torrens are invading the Drakari lands. Their troops are scattered across to raid different towns so we can easily attack them to repulse their raiding parties. Let's do that. For Lordaeron! As we destroy High Mountain raiding parties, we have spotted the Amani contingent moving towards the south. This means the Amani trolls sailed North Ren to help their allies. In this case, I will order Lord Tyrion to attack the Amani capital to force them to retreat back to their home. In the meantime, I will finish taking local Drakari towns to establish our presence. The Drakari and Amani forces have crossed the river to attack Evergreen. They will lose their organization after crossing the river, so it is wise to attack them while they are disorganized. 
Let's march south to meet them on the battlefield. We will start the fight by bombarding the Frost Trolls with fireballs. Our battle mages are precise with their targets thanks to many years of training. The Frost Trolls have no fire resistance, so our attacks are highly effective against them. I will send our heavy infantry to meet the Frost Trolls directly before they reach our battle mages. Trolls are better fighters in melee, but their lack of armor and discipline will be their downfall. We can hold the line as much as we can while our battle mages decimate the ranks of our enemies. The enemy sent their ultimate weapon, their dire trolls, to defeat our infantry. Dire trolls are much bigger and fiercer than regular trolls. It will be hard to maintain our lines against such gruesome creatures while constantly bombarded by troll axe throwers. Luckily for us, we have our own ultimate weapon. Knights of the Scarlet Crusade will face the dire trolls to stop them from reaching our mages. If we can hold them long enough, their morale will be broken and they will start to flee. The Frost Trolls are on the run. Victory is ours. With this victory, we have secured Winterguard Keep that our Lord Aronian brothers lost once. King Malak has sent an envoy to sue for peace, which we generously accepted. The Frost Trolls are retreating beyond the Drakthoron Keep to their homeland of Zuldrak. They will think twice before invading the south now. We should repair the keep immediately and establish our presence in the area as we must prepare for the upcoming campaign against the Lich King. We have a dwarven expedition to the south and trade coalition posts to our eastern border. With Frost Trolls pacified, we don't have to worry about their raids as we march into Lich King's realm. Soon, we will strike him down to finish our holy mission. I have created a new branch of our order with the name of Scarlet Onslaught. It will be led by legendary crusader Sidon Dathrahan from the Winterguard Keep as its base of operations. With new recruits flocking to our banner every day, we can field the greatest army in the Azeroth now. Using this strength, we can overwhelm the forces of the Lich King. Finally, the time has come to invade Lich King's realm. Let's assemble the army in our newly conquered province of Easa. From there, we can cross the border to the Lich King's lands and attack scourge-controlled settlements to purify them one by one. I will split my army into two to capture more settlements before the Grand Army of the Lich King arrives. If we can clear the Dragon Blight before we engage in battle, we will have the upper hand in terms of supplies and logistics. I will take my army to march into the heartlands of Dragon Blight, where I will clear the ancient dragon ruins that give magical powers to the undead. This will cripple their ability to use advanced magic in battles. While I clear the Dragon Blight, Sidon Dathrohan will defeat the smaller armies of the Scourge. We will regroup once the enemy army advance on us. Seizing the opportunity, the Bronze Dragonflight is attacking the Scourge to retake Dragon Blight. We won't fight them, as it is unnecessary for now. Let's continue with our occupation. 
The Lich King will attack soon. We have spotted the large army of the Scourge marching towards the Dragon Blight. Let's regroup in the north before we advance into the battle that will determine the fate of the Northrend. The Lich King's army consists of all kind of undead creatures such as Nerubians, Ghouls, Abominations, Frost Drakes, Undead Workles, and much more. But I have faith in my troops. We have assembled the greatest human force in the world. For the fate of our race, we have to defeat the Lich King here and now. We will start the battle by raining fire on the enemy skeleton soldiers, abominations, and ghouls with our cannons and battle mages. Their resistance to the fire damage is non-existent, so it will be devastating for them. We have to be careful though. If the Nerubians trap our mages, we can lose our firepower. We have to destroy as much as undead before they reach our ranks. Be brave, soldiers of Lordaeron! The Scarlet Knights were able to push the enemy back with their ferocious charge. Our Griffin Riders trapped the enemy Frostworms in their place and started hammering them. However, our infantry at the center are being overwhelmed. We have to stand our ground, wait for the cavalry to return to the center. Our knights have arrived and started their charge towards the enemy center. Time to push the attack. The cavalry charge was successful. Forces of the Scourge are retreating. Victory is ours. The war is over. Finally, we have defeated the Lich King and captured his cursed throne on top of the Ice Crown Citadel. With the frozen throne in our control, the Scourge is no longer a threat to our world. I will spread my forces across the Northrend and Eastern Kingdoms to capture the remaining Scourge fortresses as they are vulnerable to our attacks now. Our holy quest is complete. After long years of struggle, we have regained the freedom of our people. Well, it is time to end the Scarlet Crusade series. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. See you in the next campaign. Goodbye.